Hello, my dear friends. Well, here I am on record at last. And it feels so wonderful to be here with you on my first album. I'm so happy, I'm so happy. Hello everybody, we present you the second installment of the Academy Award winning Bulldog documentary. Except there's a new breed of pups in town. First of all, ain't none of these puppies shown in any of the footage is mine. I cannot take care of them anyways, I'm merely a robotic British voice, but if I was real, I would be totally handsome. And tall, and a ha 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 The adorable Chow Chow pups we have here are named Fluffy and Fluffer. Their ancestors originate from China and Mongolia, making them an Asian breed. Chow Chow's combines the nobility of a lion and the drollness of a panda. The most notable feature on the Chow Chow is the blue black tongue. Even though their exterior is cute and cuddly, they can be vicious when necessary. This is a dog that definitely has, you know, been known to be a little bit aggressive in the past and, and a little bit standoffish with kids and with strangers. Back then, Chow Chows were ranked as one of America's most dangerous dog breeds. Therefore, many insurance companies refused policy of the ones who owned that dog breed. Believe it or not, a lot of royalties admired Chow Chows and owned them as a pet. This set a trend and they became a popular dog breed. The royal and famous people who owned a Chow Chow were Queen Victoria, who was already fond of dogs, was also the one who boosted the breed's popularity in England. American actress Betty White grew up with dogs as well. She even brought her pets as well as her chow chow to the 60s Merv Griffin show. Oh, Emmy Award winning actress and commentator Miss Betty White. Betty? Oh, he's backing off from something. Look at this. <laughs> Starts. He used to be one of the guys that, that was his ancestor, the Akita's ancestor, the old... This is the Chow Chow of China. Beautiful dog. Look at him. One of the only two animals in the world that has a black inside of the mouth, the black tongue, the black sure, roots, and, and he's everything. drooling on his chest. Yeah. This Look. and a bear are the only two that... Oh. He's mean and vicious. Mm -hmm. They're great dogs, and they've just had such bad press. It looks like the MGM lion, doesn't it? <laughs> Watch, see if he talks. Chinese, you no. have to go oh, this Chinese? Time. The prince and princess's dog was named Move. It was a gift from the father, the Duke of Kent. Besides being a loving household pet, they were originally bred for work. Chinese emperors used them for hunting and guarding. When a chow chow is not exercised, usually they become a little bit more lethargic, a little overweight, and also a little bit cranky at times. We don't like cranky chow chows. That's right, Joey. Not only exercise is important, but grooming is as well. They have a very, very dense, thick coat that needs constant brushing. Oh, well, would you look at the time? Time for my paycheck. I hope you enjoyed this documentary, and remember that every dog of any breed deserves love.